Hello, everyone, and welcome so much to the space today. At this time, go ahead and pause the video to play some music. You're going to find a link below in the description for a Spotify playlist if you would like to use it. You might need another device to be able to play it at the same time as you watch this video on YouTube. Or please feel free and I invite you to play whatever music that you would like. Some suggestions would be instrumental music or maybe some bells, nature sounds, running water, anything soothing. But ultimately, the choice is yours. You may also go ahead and flow through this practice with no music at all. And when we do that, we just kind of tune in to all the creaks and cracks of the world around us. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and meet me on your mat in a lotus position. This is also known as a crisscross applesauce position. You might also know it as pad masaana. So go ahead and meet me here. And once you've arrived in your lotus position, go ahead and roll the shoulders down and back, straightening the spine. Allow the gaze to go forward and your hands to fall on your knees. Maybe they fall in your lap, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. And if you would like, I invite you here to close your eyes. Setting up for our practice today. Thank you for showing up for yourself, for meeting yourself on the mat and taking this time out of your busy day to tune in to your body. Our body is an intelligent vessel which houses the soul of who we are. And when we listen to our bodies, they will tell us everything that we need to know going on in the human why we crave certain foods, and how to shift those cravings into something more healthy and abundant for ourselves. We will know when to eat more green foods, when to eat more protein, when to move our body and when to stay still. All necessary factors in being human. As we move through today's practice, go ahead and remind yourself how much you know and are in tune with your own body. Our goal of the human is to be so consciously aware of who we are that no one's thoughts or opinions or judgments shift or affect our perspective of self. There is no one outside of yourself who truly needs to tell you what is wrong with your body when you are in tune and in unison with your body. However, when we mask our pain and numb it through overeating or eating poor foods or abusing our bodies in any way, we sever and block that connection of intuition within ourselves. So today, everyone, we're going to be going through some postures, focusing mostly on the hips. And we're also going to be doing a lot of binds. Most of this will be seated. All right, so from here, go ahead and begin to open your eyes. And we're going to go ahead and take a little twist here. So take your right hand and place it on your left knee. And then take your left arm and wrap it around the back of your body. And twist it to kind of make a bind. You can grab onto your right hip here from behind. Maybe you even grab on to your left foot. 
whatever feels best and whatever is possible in your body because everybody's anatomy is different and twist and open pulling into that knee over towards the left Beautiful. Go ahead and begin to untwist, coming back to center, twisting to the other side, taking that left hand, placing it on the right knee and taking that right arm around the back side of the body and reaching over towards the left side for a little bind. Maybe we grab onto our hips. Maybe we grab onto our foot, whatever we are able to do in our bodies, twisting over towards the right. Remembering that whatever we can do in our bodies is what is right for us because each individual is going to have different bodies and we're going to all be at different levels as well and there are some cases or a lot of cases where flexibility has to also do with anatomy So if you see someone and you think, oh, they're so much more flexible than me, take a deep breath and tune into the body because each individual is on a completely different journey. And yoga is not about being super flexible, but it's about tuning in to knowing oneself. Yoga means union. Go ahead and untwist, coming back to center. From here, placing the hands on your knees. We're going to inhale, cow, pressing the body out, gaze goes up, exhale, pushing the knees away, rounding our backs like an angry cat, chin goes to chest, into cat. Go ahead and continue with your breath here, inhaling seated cow, exhaling seated cat. Yoga means union, bringing together the union of the mental, of the mind, the union of the spirit, the union of the body. And whatever postures or poses, meditation that you take to get there, to find that divine union within yourself is a complete unique experience to you. However, it does come with some really great perks of the body becoming more flexible, becoming more physically fit, working on breath work to strengthen the lungs and cleanse the lymphatic, the lymphatic system. But ultimately, our goal here is to reach a union with ourselves and knowledge of the body. Also, when you're here in your cat cow, Go ahead and continue slowly with your breath. Maybe you make some circles with the body on an inhale and exhale, leaning and dipping the body in and down. I just also want to bring some awareness to the noises and creaks and cracks you might hear around the room or if you're outside, in your home, if you hear cars, dogs, the footsteps of your children or your partners, any noises that you hear please invite them and don't allow them to bring frustration in your time of meditation, this meditation of movement. Allow them to just be and hear the noises. It's a beautiful part of the meditative and yoga practice to find beauty and awareness in our surroundings without trying to block them out. They are a part of us and they are a part of our everyday lives. So it's important to acknowledge them without allowing them to consume us or giving a deep reaction to them. All right, come back to center on an inhale. Big inhale in through the nose. Hold it at the top for three, for two, for one. Sigh it out, everyone. <sighs> Beautiful. From here, take your right hand, place it on your left knee. Then take your left hand, place it behind your neck, 
and lean the body over towards the right, getting a nice stretch in the side body here. Beautiful. Mm. Feels so nice to stretch out our side body, opening up through our side heart. Beautiful. Go ahead and release everyone. Other side. Left hand to right knee. Right hand behind the neck or base of the skull. Leaning the body gazes forward over towards the left. Beautiful. From here, go ahead and release, come back to center. Bring your feet out in front of you and plant them onto the ground. From here, go ahead and place the hands on the ground, a little bit behind the heels of the hips, and shift the body forward as if we're coming into a nice little squatting, sitting position. Beautiful. All right, and from here, we're going to go ahead and take a bind. So taking your left hand and wrapping it down around the knees or around the bum, and then reaching back for that hand around the back of the other side. beautiful. If your hands don't touch, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly okay and normal. This is just trying to get a little stretch in that side body and those shoulders. Beautiful. Go ahead and switch on the other side, wrapping the right hand around the top of the knees this time, and then reaching back behind the back body to reach for that hand. You really not going all the way to the hand, kind of, I, my hand lays right on my hip. But in theory, or the idea, is to be stretching back towards that hand so you get that stretch. All right, go ahead and release. Come back into a seated position on your bum. From here, extend the left leg out long and keeping the right leg bent into you. Another bind here, we're wrapping our right arm around our right leg, hooking it right in the armpit. And then from here, taking that left hand and reaching back for that right arm, giving it a nice little squeeze, folding the body forward. Beautiful. Just a few deep breaths here. Beautiful, go ahead and release other side, extending that right leg, wrapping that left arm around the left leg, hooking it on the armpit and reaching that right arm back for the left hand around the back body and leaning the body forward. Beautiful, everyone. Release. Come back to center. Go ahead and go into a staff pose. Dandasana, which is straightening out both legs in front of us. From here, raising the hands up towards the heavens in a prayer position, engaging the core. Nice inhale. On your exhale, cactus the arms at your side. Making sure your toes are engaged. Toes pointing straight up towards the heavens. Flexing the feet. Beautiful. Inhale, raise the arms to prayer. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, prayer. 
exhale, cactus the arms. Allow the hands to fall at your side nice and wide, bringing your hands up to your fingertips. Lean the body back in a nice little back bend. Beautiful. And from here, go ahead and come back to center, straightening out the spine, bringing the feet into you, soles to soles, allowing the knees to fall out wide into a nice little butterfly position. Beautiful. And from here, we're going to go ahead and just lean the body forward into a nice little forward bend in our butterfly position, allowing gravity to do the work in pressing down on our thighs, allowing the knees to fall where they will. Beautiful. From here, go ahead and allow the feet to fall back into a lotus pose or a crisscross. We're going to lean up onto our knees, coming into a flat back, placing our hands firmly on the earth. From here, when you're in your flat back or your tabletop position, we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. So we can start with our left hand and our right leg. Go ahead and reach them as far as you can. Your leg back, your arm forward, straightening out the spine. Reach, 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 reach. Beautiful. Inhale, crunch in, touching elbow to knee. Exhale, extend. Imagining beams of light shooting out from your fingertips and the tops of your toes all the way out. Maybe they shoot out completely encompassing the earth around you, connecting you to the entirety of the planet. Inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, extend those beams, go out long and far, all the way out into the galaxy. Inhale, crunch, elbow to knee. Exhale, extend. Beautiful. From here, go ahead and reach back for that foot. Pressing your foot into your left hand. Really getting a nice little bend here. Beautiful. Go ahead and release. Coming back into a tabletop. Other side here. Go ahead. Opposite leg. Opposite arm. Left leg this time, right arm, extending it out, straightening out the spine, nice and long, as long as possible with your breath. Imagining your arm and legs just lengthening with each breath. And on an exhale, we crunch in elbow to knee. Beautiful. Extend with your breath. Inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, extend with your breath. Imagining the lights or the beams off of your hands and off of your toes extending out. Maybe these are beams of love, of hope, of forgiveness. Inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, extend. Go ahead and reach back for that foot. Beautiful, really pressing into that foot to help with balance. Beautiful, go ahead and release. From here, we're gonna come into a frog. So go ahead and spread your knees out about hip length apart, maybe a little further. And then separate the feet behind you. So you can almost like sit your booty in between your heels, really. Beautiful. And then from here, you can go ahead and lean forward. And just allow the body to sink nice and low here in our frog. For a nice little uncomfortable hip stretch. That's the most important thing about our yoga practice is maybe not the most 
Amsterdam, but it is very, very important, is tuning into discomfort and what's uncomfortable to make it a challenge and what's painful. And when we know our bodies deeply, we can decipher from what is uncomfortable and kind of irks us a little and makes us want to move and shift. And then what's actually painful. So pain, we always avoid. If something feels painful, you shift, adjust, do something else, no matter what it is in life. And same thing with uncomfortable or discomfort. Being uncomfortable or feeling discomfort can challenge us. And we can create discipline within ourselves by doing that of which is uncomfortable, but safe to grow as a human. It's finding that safety within the uncomfortable versus unsafe. It's like change and growth happens right outside your comfort zone. If you've ever heard that before, right outside your comfort zone is where change and growth happens. But then we want to avoid going into the unsafe zone or the painful zone. So we stay in the discomfort for just a few breaths, a few more moments here in our frog, because we can take these learned skills and practices into our daily lives. And what we learn on our yoga mat is what we extend out into our everyday lives, how to handle and function in the chaos of our lives and of our worlds of being human. And what a beautiful gift that is. A few more moments here in our frog. Allowing the body to just sink down. Beautiful. Go ahead and start to shift up nice and slowly. Bring some awareness back into the hips. From here, coming onto a tabletop. Bring that right foot forward to your hands. We're framing our hands with our, we're framing our foot with our hands. And we're sinking down into a nice lunge here. You can straighten that back left leg if you'd like, or you can keep it bent, whatever feels best for you. Just start to rock, shift in the weight. You can stay still and then press that right knee away from you to get a nice little hip opener here. You can also bring it back to center and sink down onto your forearms if you want a little deeper stretch in that hip. Whatever feels best for you. And just rock back and forth, stretching it out. If you'd like to take a balancing bind pose here, I invite you to so you can follow along with me now. And if not, go ahead and skip it and just stay here in your low lunge and play with weight distribution and stretching out those hips. But if you would like to practice and try this balancing bind, go ahead and bend that right or left leg into the booty and then reach back underneath your right arm so your right elbow is kind of going underneath your right knee and you're reaching back for that left foot and once you have your left foot you begin to walk your right foot back now take your left arm and place it onto the ground your forearm for balance and then from here squeezing that foot into the booty, maybe you begin to slowly lift that right leg and straighten it. Maybe you fall, maybe you don't. And if you do, just go ahead and try again for this really fun balance. This is one of my favorite balancing poses and stretches. I think it looks really pretty and it's just really fun to do. So go ahead and practice as long as you want here or come back into a low lunge whenever you're ready. beautiful. All right. And from here, everyone, go ahead and bring that foot out to the side. Beautiful. Go ahead and begin to stand up the body. So you're on your 
left knee, the right leg is out towards the side, the body is nice and tall. And from here, just slowly begin to lean over that right leg. Your right arm is on your right leg, just below your knee, and your right, her left arm is cres crescenting, making a little half circle over towards the right. Beautiful. On twist, come back to center. Meet me back in a tabletop position. <clears throat> Excuse me. And from here, go ahead and bring your left foot forward, framing it. And we're going to do a lunge on this side as well. So go ahead and play with weight distribution, leaning forward and back. Whatever feels best for you. You can go ahead and push that knee away. You can even bring it back to center, coming down onto your forearms for a deeper stretch. Beautiful. And you have the same option on this side as the other side with your balancing bind stretch. So on this side, you would bend that right knee, bringing that right foot over towards the booty and grabbing it with your left arm that's underneath or between your legs. And then from here, once you find your balance, go ahead and coming down onto the forearm of your right side placing the hand firmly onto the ground for balance, walking that left foot back slowly, and maybe a little at a time, shifting the weight onto the tops of your toes, and maybe you lift <laughs> the left leg, and maybe you fall. Whatever happens, you can feel it in your body. And just come play with it here. It's all about fun. It's all about having fun in the body, practicing new things. Beautiful. Go ahead and untwist whenever you're ready. Coming back to center. Go ahead and bring that left leg out to the side, just like the other side, coming up onto the right knee. Body is nice and erect. And we lean over slowly onto the left leg. The left arm comes onto the leg a little bit below the knee. And we reach that right arm up towards the heavens and over, crescenting over towards the left. Beautiful, everyone. Go ahead, untwist, come back to center. And go ahead and meet me in a tabletop position. Beautiful, from your tabletop. Go ahead and spread your legs out a little bit wide, just like how we were in frog. Sit the booty back down behind the heels. This is a little bit intense on the knees, so you can skip this one if it feels uncomfortable, but it is a nice stretch in the knee as well. So we're bringing the feet out beyond the thighs behind us, bending the knees. You can stay right here, putting the hands behind you, doing a little back bend. Or if it feels called to in your practice and it feels comfortable, you can go ahead and lie all the way down on your back. Go ahead and slowly begin to walk the hands down all the way until you find yourself on your back. You can also prop yourself up with some pillows or a bolster behind your back, whatever feels the best for you if you don't want to go all the way down or some, blo some blocks, <laughs> whatever feels the best for you. Just stay here for a couple of breaths. And begin to walk the body up and come back up into a seated. And one leg at a time, extend them out forward. Beautiful. All right, everyone. And from here, we're going to go ahead and take a cow face pose. So this is going to be opposite knee, opposite arm that's going to go up. So slowly go ahead and cross. We'll cross our left leg over our right leg here, bringing the knees kind of on top of each other. Beautiful. And from here, since we did our left knee on top, we're going to take our right hand and we're going to reach it up and back. 
And then we're going to take our left hand and reach it over, back and up to reach for that right hand. So as you see, we have opposite knee, opposite elbow up towards the heavens. And we're going for a bind here. Again, if your hands don't reach, that's perfectly okay. We're just doing the motion of reaching back in that position. You can also use a strap here or a sock, anything that kind of help a rope that helps your hands reach. Just taking a couple deep breaths here. Beautiful, everyone. Go ahead and release and switch sides. This time, the right knee is on top. Whew. This side's always a little tighter for me. Reaching up with our left arm and around with our right arm. Beautiful. Go ahead and release. Go ahead and you can shake out the hands a little bit. Kick out the legs, whatever feels best for you. All right, everyone. And from here, go ahead and begin to slowly lower onto your back beautiful. And once you're on your back, you can take yogi's choice. You can go straight into Shavasana, corpse pose, laying completely on your back. Or you can take whatever pose your body feels called for, any twists, plow, happy baby, anything that feels best for you in your body, or you can skip it. And from here, we're just going to begin to sink down into our Shavasana or our Corpse Pose whenever you're ready. You can allow the legs to go out long and straight. You can bring the soles of the feet together in a Supta Baddha Konasana if it feels best for you. You are able to allow your hands to fall at your side, on your tummy, at your heart, maybe one hand on your heart and one hand on your tummy. Truly whatever feels best and called for you in your practice today. But go ahead and allow the body to sink down nice and heavy. Bringing awareness to the breath. Bringing awareness to the noises. What is your body saying to you? What do you innately feel and how do you innately feel about your body? Do you tell your body how appreciative you are? That it helps you move and grow through life? Do you walk forward each and every day full of gratitude? That you have oxygen to breathe, Thank you everyone for joining me today in practice. I truly help, hope that this has helped. And I look forward to flowing with you next time. Stay here as long as you'd like. You can roll over onto your side into a fetal position. You can stay right where you are. Take your time. And until next time, everyone, namaste.